What's good, still a nation? How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing it, man? We finally back, bruh. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been like a week or two, you know, at this point in the off season. Not too much to talk about. As y'all can see, I'm in a new location, too. We in Florida, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in Florida with it, man. But unfortunately, my last day here. I will be going back home tomorrow. Um, you know, went on a little vacation with, with, with the missus, with the shorty, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving y'all a weekly review today. I actually do got another video coming up tomorrow once I get home for y'all. So I'm gonna try to be pushing out some content and all that. But it's just a quick little Steelers weekly review. You know, everything that's been going on all week. Obviously we got some Julio Jones news. We got some Najee Harris news. We got, um, what else we got? Oh, we got some Richard Sherman news. So we're gonna start off with that. So apparently Richard Sherman was talking to Stephen A. Smith or whatever. And then Richard Sherman was saying how, um, well, now nah, he didn't start it, but Stephen A. Smith started, even though the instigator he is. Shout out to Stephen A. though, love Stephen A. Uh, he was instigating on how Richard Sherman should come to the Steelers and all that. And Richard Sherman was like, he not afraid of the FC North. He would love to play in Pittsburgh. He had to bring his winter clothes and all that. You know, they would just chat. Pittsburgh, what about them? They, they ain't call. I can't make them call. You know, I can call them. I, I, you know, but I, I, I got to call. I got to call Mike T. You wouldn't mind being in Pittsburgh. You wouldn't mind. Do you? I, I'll call Mike T. I got to get on the phone with him and Kevin Co. Uh, Keith Colbert. I, they got to do something, man. Him and Kevin Colbert. They got to do something. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, I'm not. I'm not afraid of the a AFC North. You know, it's a good division. I'd. I'd like Pittsburgh. It's cold. I'd right. have to bring my winter clothes. But you know, uh, Richard Sherman, obviously not the cornerback he used to be, but shit, I would love to have him on the Steelers. Concerned that our cornerback situation is not guaranteed. We got an agent, Joe Hayden. Um, Shakur Brown, who was supposed to be a third-round pick, but we picked him up undrafted, which I'm actually excited to see his game. I got a video coming out on him soon because that, that boy's a beast. I got a couple videos for y'all. Um, Shakur Brown, you know, Cam Sutton, who I think is going to develop into our top cornerback because I don't think we'll get Richard Sherman, but should we? Yes. Should we sign him? Hell yeah. Why not? It's Richard Sherman, you know? Uh, now, the Steelers play more of a cover two, cover two man. Richard Sherman's more of a cover three guy, so I don't know how it work. I don't know if we would like move him, like if he could learn to play cover two. Well, he probably knows how to play cover two, but cover three is more his game, you know, on the old Seahawks team and even on the 49ers team. But it would be nice to have Richard Sherman just to add depth in that cornerback uh, situation. He will probably instantly turn into our number one cornerback. I say Cam would be our two, Joe would be our three, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's it for the Richard Sherman news. I would love to have Richard Sherman on this team. Don't see the problem with it. Don't see the problem with him. Oh, let me get that. You know, but yeah, don't see the problem with Richard Sherman. And moving on to some more news. Steeler signed Najee Harris to a four-year deal. You know, I think it was $13 million we gave him. So not too bad. Obviously, we're looking at him to be our next franchise running back. And I love Najee Harris, man. This kid's attitude, the, the way he just comes off is just great. You can tell he's going to be a great player. He's already a great person, you know. His whole draft day was for, was for you know, the homeless shelter where he once was in that homeless shelter. Um, I think he's just doing it for the kids for the needy, you know, for the people who need things. But shout out to Najee. He said he want to play 10 years. That's a long time. You play 10 years on this Steelers team. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. So that means, yeah, you have him for four years. Uh, you put him on a fifth year option, franchise tagging, that's six years, um, signing to Harbor, the, the another three, four years, that's 10 years right there. But yeah, I think Najee Harris is going to be a big impact for this team, and I can't wait to see what he does. Next, we got some Julio Jones news. So apparently, Chase Claypool was asked yesterday or earlier this morning, um, I think it was TMZ, they were talking about how, how would he want Julio Jones on the Steelers and all that shit, the Steelers trade for Julio Jones. Y'all know our organization, we ain't trading for Julio. Y'all should already know that. We're not trading for Julio. I would be surprised. Um... But Chase Claypool was just answering like, yeah, I would love that Julio Jones were stacked at our position and all that, you know, with Juju and Deontay, James Washington and all Jones. that. You know, you got A.J. Brown trying to bring yeah. him to Tennessee. You want him in Pittsburgh? Um, who's that? Julio Jones. 
Yeah, I would, I would love him in Pittsburgh. You guys aren't too stacked already with, you know, no, you're stacked. You're stacked. You, right? can you can never get too many superstars. Um, I would love to have Julio. Julio would be a big step, especially with Big Ben throwing to him. He's never had a quarterback like Big Ben throwing to him. He had Matt Ryan throwing to him. No disrespect to Matty Ice, though. I would never disrespect Matt Ryan because I don't think he's done yet, which a lot of people think he is. Um, I honestly think Julio should give it one more run. You know, they just acquired Kyle Pitts. Um, they had a pretty decent draft. You know, I think he should give it one more run. But... Yeah, he said he's out of there. You know, you got guys like A.J. Brown trying to recruit him and all that. The whole receiver core trying to recruit him. DeAndre Hopkins is over there trying to recruit him, come to the Cardinals and all that. I would be glad to have uh, Julio Jones on the Steelers, but knowing our organization, it's probably not going to happen like that. But, yeah, and then and then they asked um, Chase Claypool, how do you feel about Big Ben's arm and all that? And Chase Claypool gave a great answer. Some people are questioning Big Ben's arm, like his arm strength and all that. He's the, he's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He said he's the GOAT and he pulled off. That's it. Because it looked like uh, Chase Claypool was in a rush to get somewhere and TMZ was just harassing him, asking him questions. But yeah, I agree with Chase Claypool. Big Ben, GOAT. Um, I got a video coming out on Big Ben tomorrow because it's been a lot of slander, dog. And we, I'm going to cut down to the chase today. Y'all going to stop coming at my quarterback after he had a pretty good year last year. They say he watched. They've been saying he watched for the last three, four years, man. We're going to get to that tomorrow, though. I'm going to say that for tomorrow. But I just wanted to come at y'all with a quick weekly review. You know, I enjoyed my vacation. We in Florida. This is my last night, unfortunately. We've been here since Monday, going home tomorrow, which I'm gonna have a video for y'all tomorrow. Probably gonna have a video for y'all the day after that and the day after that. I got a whole bunch of video plans and ideas lined up for y'all. I'm gonna try to get back on track because we've been going for a minute. And while I was gone, we hit 80 subscribers and my draft video hit 500 views and it's still currently going up. I just wanna tell everybody that I appreciate y'all for all the love. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all keep telling y'all friends. Keep subscribing to me and all that. Keep liking the videos. And for the one person who disliked my video, bet. I'm only going to grow from that. So say goodbye, my guy. If you thought you was going to get in my head, nope, not happening. I'm going to catch all y'all boys later. Hope everybody had a good day. And I'm out.